What's up everybody? Welcome to Cape Coral. On today's video, we're going to show you the destruction of Hurricane Ian in the beautiful city of Cape Coral. And despite being the largest city in Southwest Florida. Yes, when you look at the population of Cape Coral, it is the largest city in Southwest Florida by population. However, by importance, it ain't crap. If you're not familiar with Cape Coral, it's basically a bunch of people that move here from New York. And I, I'm surprised they made it through the hurricane because does anybody in Cape Coral know what the crap a hurricane is anymore? I mean, from my understanding, it's just a bunch of New York people that just moved from New York. And, and bless their hearts. I mean, these people have never been through a hurricane. The vast majority of them just moved from New York. So I, I can imagine them going through a hurricane. Like, uh, do they even know what a hurricane is here in Cape Coral? That's my first question. So imagine that. A city where everybody just recently moved from New York goes through a hurricane. And then they think, like, they're abandoned. And actually, like, their city, it's not really in that bad of a condition. But, of course, the people that live here think it's the end of the world because they're from New York and they've never been through a hurricane. Because as we all know, never in the history of hurricanes has a hurricane ever landed in New York. So when they see this sandy place full of, well, sand everywhere, they've never seen it before. And they think they're terrified they think it's the end of the world so we're gonna show you guys some damage from Cape Coral and and see what really happened here and keep in mind I know the local residents they think it's the end of the world because again they, they, they've never seen a hurricane they wouldn't know of a hurricane if it hit them upside the head but the people of Cape Coral are responsible they're up to date on their insurance payments unlike uh, North Fort Myers who doesn't have insurance people here got their crap together I mean, do they realize they have to clean up these sidewalks and stuff? Like, like there's still, like, garbage everywhere. Like, I don't think they understand that, like, like I don't think the people in Cape Coral understand that they have to pick this stuff up. I know up. most of them were probably on the phone with their insurance guy before the storm to make sure everything would be covered if there were damage. Yeah, I mean, they seem like, you know, the most responsible place in Southwest Florida, so that's why they're not on the news. They're not on the news because, like, we know that Cape Coral's got insurance, okay? <laughs> now, Lehigh... Oh, Fort Myers, you know, they they didn't evacuate. Cape Coral evacuated. I mean, these people were like, you know what? We're supposed to leave. Man. One thing that I do like about Cape Coral is there's so many different restaurants here. And, uh, you know, so th there's a lot of great places to eat here. Um, the, the amount of uh, cuisine. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. And she looks like she's from New York. <laughs> she's got the, like, New York haircut, like... I think it's a New York dealership. <laughs> What's it say on there? That is like the most New York haircut I have ever I seen on anybody. Somebody explain to me why that's open when there's nothing in the back. Yeah. Like, they literally haven't really cleaned up here. I'm honestly going to say Lehigh looks better than Cape Coral these days. Continue on Del Prado Boulevard. Now, I, I'm probably miles. the last person to say that. But I honestly feel like Lehigh is looking better than Cape Coral these days. What is this? Oklahoma City? Yeah, buddy! Look at that truck right there! Dude, this is like Oklahoma City. Right How here. are they not cleaning this? Yeah, there's like garbage yes. everywhere. Yeah, there's more litter here than Montgomery. They haven't picked up anything. Yes. Can you can you believe with as much taxes as people pay to live in Cape Coral that they haven't, the city hasn't cleaned up anything yet. It's been two weeks. Like, I've really known people who were going to move to Southwest Florida, liked Cape Coral, and when they saw the property taxes, they were like, nope, not for me. KFC? Yeah. Look at that Ford Rado. Hey, you think of as much property taxes people pay out here, this crap will be cleaned up. Ferrari? Yes. Hey. These folks out here think they're down south. Southeast 15th place, then turn right onto southeast. So here's what a regular street in Cape Coral looks like these days. Lots of tree debris out by the road. This street doesn't seem to have storm surge effects yet. So we're just driving through Cape Coral. You can see tarps on the roof. Lots of wind damage, really. You believe in all the real situations unfolding in North Fort Myers that I have to come over here and show this? these people on the internet crying saying they're not on the news you know why you're not on the news because nothing happened here i gotta take away my channel's resources away from places like sun coast estates and north fort myers to come over here and show your pool screen got blown away. i want to go ahead and say 
aluminum or plastic. These white fences didn't make it anywhere. They might look pretty, but they're garbage. Despite the fact that they look pretty, these white fences, none of them made it. Aluminum or plastic, whatever. They did not hold up very well in this storm. And I should really consider telling people that even though the city will permit these fences, that the counties should start to look at whether they're gonna allow people to install these fences because they don't seem like they hold up very well. They sure don't hold up as well as a 1500. Everywhere you look, you're like, wow, fences destroyed. They should really consider not permitting these fences anymore. They may look good, but they don't really stand up to the challenges of weather down here. I mean, entire fences and entire communities are gone. So, seriously, we need to consider whether these fences should be allowed to be permitted in Southwest Florida, because obviously they're not up to the test. The amount of roof damage in Cape Coral is insane too. It's like everywhere you look, there's roof damage and fence damage. Whether aluminum, like this one right here, or plastic, these fences did not make it. They have a screen in their front yard. That's kind of odd. Like, if you want to live in a condo, live in a condo, but don't like bring the condo to the residential. You're back online. Your route may be affected. So the situation in Cape Coral is pretty clear. Most houses have some type of roof damage. That's pretty sad. They got roof damage and the pool screen's gone. And they bought a Hyundai. Okay. Got that bird. Hey, get that bird off the road. Crowded road. Take me home to the place. There is mold and lots of traffic. What are these people complaining about? They barely had any damage, bro, compared to other places we've been to. Yeah. I can't believe these people are so self-centered that they're online complaining about how the news isn't in their town. You know why? Because nothing happened in your town compared to other places. This is what an average street in Cape Coral looks like these days. Mm -hmm. the people are inside on Facebook complaining. About how their town's not on the news, even though they suffered great damages. Great damages were lost in Cape Coral. Compared to other places in Southwest Florida, this is weak. The yeah. damages here are not like you know, like of course they're from New York, so they think it's the end of the world. Like this is just not that. Like what I'm seeing here is like it's about normal. You know, it's not like really like complete destruction, but they're from New York. They wouldn't know about it. I'm sure they think this is like the worst case scenario possible. Yep, these people from New York have never seen a hurricane. Jose, who's Sandy? Uh, uh we're just friends. Hurricane Sa Superstorm oh. Sandy. I'm sorry, did you say hurricane or Superstorm? Both. I'm sorry, I don't know what a Superstorm is because I live in Florida where we have hurricanes. I don't like, kind of looks stylish on this one. So yeah, tree branches are down and shingle roofs that are 14 years old are damaged, but that's kind of what happens in a hurricane, Cape Coral. You don't have to cry about it on Facebook. I bet if you look at the new roofs, they're not bad. If you look at the houses with metal roofs, they're not gone. If you look at the houses with new shingle roofs, they're not gone. But if your house is 40 years old and it's got 40 year old shingles, of course the hurricane's gonna blow it away. Notice, old roof destroyed. New roof intact, mostly. New roof intact. New roof intact. This is the Terranary Lig. A lot of these, there's thing about Cape Coral is despite the fact that they have grown a lot, there are still a lot of really old buildings and a lot of really old houses. You just don't notice it because they're well kept up, you know? But like, now that I realize that I'm looking around, like, yeah, there really are a lot of old buildings in Cape Coral. Like, you know, you 
think about Cape Cod, you just think about new houses, new houses. But there are a lot of old houses here. And the vast majority of the buildings and houses you see destroyed are not the new ones because they have a strict building code. <laughs> you believe McDonald's brought back the Happy Meal for a dollar? Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm going to get me one. Uh, that wasn't my point. You still had to get me one. Uh, I was really just gonna say how. How you're looking forward to getting me one? How dumb you'd have to be to do that, but now that you like it, I can't really. You tell think, you. what? Jose, that's rude. I like it. Oh, oh. I wanna get me the birdie and the grimace and the I was gonna, I was gonna say, hey, Katie, how, you know, how dumb of an idiot do you have to. I can't say that because you're getting mad at me. You're saying it now. And I'm not, really no, mad. I'm not saying Holland Hall, baby. You're saying it without no, saying it. No, I wasn't going to say it to begin with. No, baby. I will get me my Happy Meal. No, baby. Jose, I want a Happy Meal. Katie, you're like 40 years old. Like, I'm not 40. I want a Happy <laughs> Meal. Well, you're not going to be happy at all. You know... That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Like, a Happy Meal for an adult. Like, how slow do you have to... First of all... Ow! Is that a Subaru? Are you from New York? Why, why haven't they cleaned up their sidewalks? Wait a minute. Alright, guys. So, this is downtown Cape... Well, hold on, man. I wouldn't say... I mean, it's the, a downtown for Cape Coral. Like, Cape Coral can't really afford a downtown like the rest of the cities. So this is what they call a downtown. Like it's not really a downtown. It's just like this is all they. This is all they have. Like if they were to have a downtown, this would be it. So it's not like they have a real downtown here. It's it's kind of like if they were to have had a downtown, this would have been it. You, you know what I'm saying? Like they don't really have a downtown, but you know, like if they Sweet did the streets. If they did have a downtown, like this would be it. But they don't really have a downtown. So it's like. That's your arm, by the way. Ooh, audio and sound. I don't sound like I can get speakers put in my car. That's a great business. You'll, you'll spend a lot of money on speakers, but you won't spend ten dollars on a Happy Meal to make me happy. No, make me happy. Spend three thousand dollars on a sound system for this car. Ten dollars versus three thousand. Come on, buddy. Ten. That's not a lane. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? What are you doing? Go, go. That's not a, look at this that's guy. That's a turning go. lane. That's not a turning lane. There's no lane there at all. There's no lane. He had to be from New Jersey. These people from all these New Jerseys and New Yorks, they're so rude. That's not a lane. He just like decided that he was gonna drive. Okay. Bro, they're so oh, rude. No, they're one of me. These people from New York and New Jersey are so disrespectful, bro. Yes. They need to clean the streets. How have you not How, cleaned the streets? This is their downtown. They're quote unquote downtown and they still haven't cleaned it yet. But buy a house here, pay ten thousand dollars in property tax. Even Fort Myers cleaned up their downtown. But of course, you know, Fort Myers is a leg up on this. North Fort Myers cleaned up their downtown. Yeah, they don't even have a downtown. Yeah. But they cleaned it. Yeah. Dude, how the crap have they not cleaned their downtown yet? This is like the face of your city and it looks like this. And, and keep in mind, you're talking about the most expensive property taxes in all of Florida. You know what I mean? They, like, if you buy a house here, your property taxes are going to be like $6,000, $7,000. The same house in Lehigh might be $1,200. But in Lehigh, they're... Well, they don't have a downtown either. But if they did have a downtown, you'd be better than that. What the crap, Cape Coral? You see a problem here, Cape Coral? It's been two weeks. I will say, with as high as the property taxes are in Cape Coral, I can't believe that, what, two weeks later? How long has it been two weeks already? That their, yeah, their downtown weeks. still has trees on the side. That's pretty much embarrassing. Because I, I, I would say, if you pay these property ridiculous property taxes you pay live in Cape Coral, you would expect that not to be the case. Like, you would expect... You know what I mean? Like, if you pay that much in property taxes, as you would pay to live in Cape Coral, you would have 
higher expectations than their small downtown, which is like two blocks. It's not like the end of the, it's not like Fort Myers where downtown's huge. Like their downtown here is like two blocks. Really? Really, Cape Cod? Yeah, there might have been, there might have been storm surge yeah. around here. Yeah, storm surge. See the cars were flooded? Yeah. So they had storm surge on this side. All right, guys. Looks like we're heading towards Chiquita now, and it looks like there was storm surge damage here as well because I'm seeing a lot of furniture. Yeah, we're seeing furniture outside. So this part of Cape Coral had storm surge damage, which is definitely serious, um, definitely concerning, definitely not good at all. Storm surge damage means... That's another layer. Because you got roof damage, you can fix that. You know, but storm surge, that's a whole deeper level of destruction. So uh, on this part of Cape Coral here, it looks like they definitely got hit a lot harder. Uh, storm surge really sucks. I mean, because you can have your roof damage and you can still keep living in your house until you get it fixed. But storm surge, you got to move out. And I'm seeing a lot of furniture outside on this side of Cape Coral. So... Seems like this little corner of Cape Coral definitely got hit way harder. Yeah, so it looks like this is what the southwest corner of Cape Coral. So the southwest corner of Cape Coral really got it hard. You got storm surge combined with wind, so they really got it hard here. Nice Camry though. Nice Camry, just like ours. Same color and everything. fences bro they're all gone everywhere you can see they're all gone everywhere so I would definitely think that the city would eventually have to reconsider whether they're gonna allow those type of fences in the future because not a single one made it in a quarter mile turn left So I know I'm picking on New Yorkers a little bit on this video, but let me tell you, if you are from New York and you went through Hurricane Ian and you did not evacuate and you did not leave, you were here the whole time with no power, no light, you are officially a Floridian. doesn't matter how, how if you only been here for a week, but you stayed for the hurricane, you didn't evacuate, you didn't run away back to New York. If you were here for this hurricane, you didn't evacuate, you stayed in your house without water, without power, you are officially a Floridian. And I don't care if you it's your first week in Florida. Now, if you've lived in Florida for 50 years, but you left for Hurricane Ian, and you left for Charlie, and you left for all the other ones, and you uh, you weren't here without power and water. You're not a Floridian because yet. to really be a Floridian, to really be stamp certified, you're a Florida man. You have got to live through a hurricane. I don't mean you evacuated to Fort Lauderdale. If you evacuated Fort Lauderdale like I did on this hurt, I did it in this hurt. I'm not gonna lie, I did it. <laughs> well, we left after the storm. We stayed for the hurricane, and then the days after, we left for Fort Lauderdale for a few days. But I've already been through Charlie 14 days. I've already. I've already earned my stripes, so I, 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 I get a break. You know what I mean? Charlie, Irma, w Charlie, Wilma. Irma, Wilma. F wasn't Francis I've a been, little bit? Yeah, we went through a few. Yeah, we've been through. So we get a break. But if you have lived in Florida all these years, and every time there's a hurricane, you evacuate, you're not a real Floridian. But if you're from New York, and you stayed at your house, no water, no power, and you went through the hurricane, you're officially a Floridian. So you can tell here they had water damage in their vehicles. So let's Your be clear. Be affected by Central Florida. Let's be clear. If you're from New York, and I don't care if you've only been in Florida for a week, don't matter if it's your first month in Florida. If you stayed in your house through the hurricane, and you were in your house without water and power for a week, you are officially a Floridian. If you are in Fort Lauderdale and <laughs> love your hotel by the side of the beach, you have not graduated yet as a Floridian. And I'm not going to lie, I was in Fort Lauderdale by the beach. But we'd already been But we had already earned our stripes through all the other hurricanes. So we, we, well, we're already certified. But I'm, I'm serious. If you're from New York and 
you stayed for the storm and you, you suffered through all this crap, can't nobody tell you you're not a Floridian if you went through this. But if you weren't for Lauderdale, at that uh, Mary up by the beach with me, you still haven't certified yourself as a Floridian. New Yorker and New Jersey Yorker, this was your opportunity to get certified. And if you didn't take advantage of it, that's all. Well, I've lived in Florida for 40 years. No, if you evacuated, you ain't lived through Florida for one day. You understand me? This is the real deal. This is the certification process. Turn right. This is the certification process to become a Floridian. You know, there's a legal process to be a U.S. citizen. There's a legal process to become a Floridian. And that legal process involves you staying for a hurricane as at least a category three, not evacuating. Turn right and turn left. If you were in Fort Lauderdale at a beachside resort, you're still not a Florida. I didn't even know this existed over here, but apparently people in Cape Coral are part, proud of this little area. But I've never been here. I even though like I, I've been in the area a lot, but this is my first time out here. This is supposed to be like they're really proud of this. You know, people in Cape Coral. They're really proud of this place here, but it looks like crap now. Yeah. This is supposed to be like their like their bay front or something. Because they don't really have a whole beach here in Cape Coral, so no. this is all they got. Do you think I wasn't gonna run you over? I was. Oh my gosh, what is this? Cars just flying at me. Yeah. Well, he's gonna have to wait. Cause I'm not gonna let him through. Not cause he's from New York or anything. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do something like that. But for real though, you're certified now. Now, if you stayed in for a lot of that or something, yeah. You're not validated. Nice color. All right, so I've had a lot of people, probably from New York, who have asked me on my videos, why are they throwing that stuff away? It's still usable. No, salt water from storm surge is extremely corrosive. And once something, uh, once uh, your appliances or your home goods or electrical and domestic are submitted to salt water, they're pretty much done. Salt water destroys everything. It, it rots the nails, the screws. It eats up everything. So once. Um, once your property's been submerged in salt water, maybe your vehicle, anything, salt water is corrosive and it will eventually, it may not rot right away, but give it, you know, a few months or whatever and everything, um, everything that's been touched by, uh, by salt water will rot. So, yeah, it's fine. Got a rush on me, bro? Maybe he's from New York or something. What happened? Don't rush me. This ain't Mount Rushmore. No, I'm not going to get to Oh, this ain't Mount Rushmore, okay? I'm not going to get to it. This is not Mount Rushmore. Don't be rushing me, man. Do I look like a Russian to you? I couldn't live in Cape Coral. These people are so rude here in general. Yeah. Like, they're super... Rude. Boat right here just launched onto these people's backyard. Nice boat, too. I'm not a Russian, bro. So don't rush me. Alright, guys. So, along Chiquita and Southwest 58th. Now, this is a more serious scene here. There's definitely much more destruction in this area here. crap about your privacy. I'm trying to get these YouTube videos. A New Yorker, you have officially had your inauguration. Two yellow hummers. 
You know they smell bad when they taped them like that. That roof tail down there. Is that another orange? This area got trashed, bro. I love the royal palm trees, and they will grow back, no problem. Royal palm trees will grow back eventually. Just sad. This neighborhood must have been gorgeous before this came through here. And it will be gorgeous again. It'll just take some time. It just kind of crashed out. This is a gorgeous big house, but man, did it have a lot of damages. And they had storm surge, so double loss here. They got the wind and the storm surge. behind that house. I wonder what took place. Beautiful home. These homes are just gorgeous. Beautiful neighborhood. Beautiful home. So sad. Lifting a boat. It's so sad, man. It's a beautiful neighborhood. And there are properties like here where the damage is completely uh, of a more mag magnified level, which is bigger damage. Getting the priorities fixed. Who really wants one? It's very important. Those fences suck. Another yellow hammer. Do I see a team here? Yellow hammer. Hammer, 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 hammer. Look at the fault. The hammer, man. Yellow hammer. Hammer, Bahama, mama. We should all be looking for Bahama, mama. Bahama, Bahama, mama. My friend Jack.
That's from New York. Wow, slow down with the door down, buddy. see some uh, storm surge damage on the low-lying spots. Good dog. This looks like it belongs in Hialeah, not in Cape Coral. Hialeah looking good place. I don't understand why I haven't cleaned this up yet. Do you want to play some Lee has all delivered your house? Yeah. It's a very uncomfortable car. Yeah. Man, I just feel efficient, but let me tell you, man, like everything in my body hurts. I wonder if we could like buy cushions that we can put underneath the seats before we sit down. Uh, probably. That might help a little bit. Well, at least the essential business is right. one and a half miles, take the Magnolia Point exit toward McGregor Boulevard. Side. 